Welcome to Biology at Ease. This video is part 9 of Life Processes Lecture Series and in this video we will be discussing the process of reproduction. So let's start with the definition. What is reproduction? Reproduction is the process by which organisms produces their young ones or it is the process of production of offsprings by the existing organisms. Why reproduction is essential? That is what is the need for reproduction on this earth? Reproduction is important because it ensures the continuity of life on this earth. For example, when the old grandparents die, their children that is their sons and daughters continue to live on this earth and then the children reproduces and their children continue to live on this earth so this process goes on and on and it ensures the continuity of life of that particular organism on this planet earth so that is why reproduction is essential because it is helpful in maintenance of life on the planet earth if there won't be any reproduction among a particular species then there will come a time when there will be no organism of that species on this earth so to prevent the organisms of a particular species from getting extinct reproduction is essential now there are two types of reproduction asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction asexual reproduction is the type of reproduction in which the offsprings are produced from a single parent and sex cells which are also known as gametes are not involved in the process of asexual reproduction whereas in sexual reproduction the offsprings are produced as a result of fusion of the sex cells that is fusion of gametes of two parents that is male and female gamete so the basic difference between sexual and asexual reproduction is asexual reproduction is uniparental that is single parent is involved in the process of reproduction whereas sexual reproduction is biparental that is two parents are involved in the process of reproduction in asexual reproduction gametes that is the sex cells are not involved whereas in sexual reproduction fusion of male and female gametes or fusion of male and female sex cells leads to the production of offsprings now in this video we will be studying the various methods of asexual reproduction there are six basic methods of asexual reproduction which includes fission budding spore formation regeneration fragmentation and vegetative propagation so let's start with fission Fission is the process by which the body of an organism that is the body of the parental organism splits into two or more parts and then these parts produces the offsprings. There are two types of fission binary fission and multiple fission. Binary fission is the process in which the body of the parental organism splits into two parts and then these two parts form the two new organisms. So that is why the term binary is used where bi stands for two. So in binary fission two offsprings are produced as a result of splitting of the body of parental organisms. Binary fission takes place in simple unicellular organisms like amoeba and paramecium. Whereas multiple fission is the process in which the body of the parental organism splits into more than two parts and then these parts form the new organisms. So in multiple fission more than two offsprings are produced as a result of splitting of the body of parental organism. Multiple fission takes place in malarial parasite which is known as plasmodium. So what is fission? Fission is the process by which splitting of the body of parental organism forms the offsprings. In binary fission, the body of parental organism splits into two parts leading to the formation of two offsprings. Whereas in multiple fission, the body of parental organism splits into more than two parts leading to the formation of multiple offsprings. Now the next is budding. In budding, a small part of the body of the parental organism grows out as bud and then this bud detaches from the body of the parental organism and forms a new individual. Budding takes place in multicellular organism called hydra. So what happens in hydra? A small part from the body of the parental hydra organism grows out as bud. And then this bud detaches from the main parental body 
and then forms a new hydra organism so this is how reproduction takes place in hydra besides hydra budding also occurs in a fungi known as yeast now the next is spore formation spore formation takes place in plants in spore formation the plant produces reproductive units called spores and these spores are responsible for production of the new plants what happens in spore formation reproductive units called spores are produced inside the spore case of the plants so this is the spore case inside which spores are present now when the spore case burst these spores land on the soil and food and then produces the new plants spore formation occurs in non flowering plants like ferns and mosses it also takes place in bacteria and it also occurs in fungi like rhizopus and mucor so spore formation is the type of asexual reproduction in plants in which the new plants are obtained from the reproductive units known as spores now let's move to regeneration regeneration is the process by which the complete body of an organism can be obtained from its body parts that is if you cut the body of a particular organism into several parts by the process of regeneration you are able to get a complete organism from this body part the process of regeneration occurs in flat worm called planaria and it also takes place in hydra when you cut the body of planaria suppose into three parts all these three parts have the capacity to grow a new planarian organism so this is the process of regeneration in which the organism is able to get back its complete body from its body part now the next process is fragmentation fragmentation is the process by which the body of a multicellular organism splits into two or more parts and then produces a new organism so fragmentation is similar to the process of fission but the only difference is fission occurs in unicellular organisms in the process of fission the body of the parental organism splits and form new organisms similarly in fragmentation the body of the parental organism splits and form new organisms but the difference is fission occurs in unicellular organisms whereas fragmentation occurs in multicellular organisms like sea anemones and spirogera now the last process is vegetative propagation vegetative propagation is the process which takes place in plants in plants the new plant organism is obtained from the parts of the old plant by the process of vegetative propagation so in vegetative propagation the parts of the plant are used to produce new plants for example a new money plant can be obtained by using the stem of the older money plant or in potato plant a new potato plant can be obtained using the underground stem of potato which is known as tuber in the tuber that is the underground stem of the potato buds are present and these buds have the capability of growing a new plant so potato plant can be grown in your garden using the tuber upper part of the older potato plants so this is the process of vegetative reproduction in which the older parts of the plant are used to produce new plants so this is all about the process of asexual reproduction let's quickly revise everything fission is the type of asexual reproduction in which the body of the unicellular organism splits into two or more parts and then form the new organisms budding is the process in which a small part of the body of the parental organism grows out as bud and then this bud forms the new organism spore formation is the process of asexual reproduction which occurs in plants and in spore formation reproductive units called as spores are responsible for production of the new plants regeneration is the process of getting back a complete organism from its body parts and it takes place in flat form like planaria fragmentation is the process in which the body of a multicellular organism splits into two or more parts and then forms a complete organism vegetative propagation is the type of asexual reproduction in plants in which new plants are obtained using the parts of the old plant 
For example, a new money plant can be obtained using the stem of the old money plant. Similarly, a new potato plant can be obtained using the tuber that is underground stem of the old potato plant. So this is all for this video. In my next video, I'll be explaining sexual reproduction. I hope you're clear with the content. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.